What's up you guys, it's Avery here bringing you guys a locals report and also a deck profile. I finally got uh, the majority of the cards in the mail. The only thing that I'm waiting on is to my bodies as a shield, which should be in the mail by like next week or so. But I still want to bring you guys a deck profile of my zoo deck um, that I took to locals last night. It was like a mini regional with like 40 plus people um, sign up. It was six rounds. Um, it was actually funny how it worked out because first two rounds I lost and then... I ended up making a comeback and winning like four in a row. So that that was fun. It was nice. Unfortunately, I still didn't top eight, but it's all good. I still wanted to make this deck profile anyway and just, you know, kind of talk about how I've been playing the deck and actually how much I've been enjoying it. I really have been enjoying Zoo. Zoo's been a lot of fun. Uh, just learning the combos and learning, you know, different takes on, you know, turns and stuff like that and different takes on combos and whatnot. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. We are playing the Kaiju Engine, so we are playing Triple Terra Top. Try and keep this straight. Uh, and then the one Tacky Tumborg, it's obvious. Um, if you're not playing these, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, then we're playing Doggeran, Sticky String, uh, Thunder King, and Gamma Seal. I actually found uh, Jakuzaru. So I'm probably going to take out uh, Sticky String for Jakuzaru. But any four of these Kaijus uh, will do. Like if you don't have Doggeran, you could play Mystery Dust. Whatever it is that you really want to play. It's all player preference. And then we're playing just two Thoroughblade. Um, it gets you there. Uh, game one, or not game one, round one, I was playing against my friend who was playing 60 card Inferno with a Zoo Engine. And... I thought I had game on him, but I forgot that he milled snow off of the Bajinti Kajasuchi. Uh, and so I ended up like trying to make a like a Terra Top play or something, and he popped it with the Dryden, and then I normal summoned Thoroughblade, and I was going to make an Exceed to Pierce for game, so he was at 1200, and his Dryden was a defense, but then he ended up using Fairy Tail Snow, so he ended up 2 me. And then round 2, I played against Crystal Wing, Magic Specter, the deck. Misplayed game 1 because I had Kaiju Slumber, and I gave him a Kaiju, and I had Terra Top, and he maxed me, and I could have won if I would have just played the Interrupted Kaiju Slumber at the beginning of the turn. So, you live and you learn. Better than at a regional. Uh, and then we've got Triple Whip Tail. Um, it's the clue to the deck. And then we've got three of the best card in this format. Three Momorat. Um, it's Momorat, guys. Gotta love them rats. And we're playing two Maxi. And that's it for the monsters. Maxi came in clutch. And then triple Kaiju Slumber. Um, I love this card. It's so good. Um, it does what it needs to do. It, it clears the board. Uh, three Barrage. $99 a piece. Unfortunately, they dropped. I still regret nothing. And then two Twin Twister. Uh, it's Twin Twister. Uh, triple Tinky. Shout out to my friend Arthur for getting me the Triple Tinky, the Terra Top, the Tacky Tumberg. And then Traps. We're playing one Vanities and one Combo. Um, I've almost been tempted to play two Combo, but I don't feel that it's necessary. Uh, two Storming. Pretty good. And then three Solemn Strike. It's Strike. And now for my substitutes, because I don't have my body yet, and I don't have D barriers yet, which these actually came in clutch. I was playing one Lost Wind and two Black Corn of Heaven, or uh, one Black Corn of Heaven, but I found a second Black Corn of Heaven, so I ended up uh, taking out the second Lost Wind for it. This build is supposed to be 41 originally, because I um, was copying another Kaiju Zodiac build and just kind of making changes that I saw fit. So he was originally playing 41. It was uh, Bryson Hunter's build like a regional or something in like Atlanta I think uh, he was playing 41 because he was playing 3D barrier but I just ended up playing 40 uh, with two black horns and two starlight roads and the starlight roads never came up unfortunately um, but I really wish that these were my bodies don't play starlight road play two of my bodies in the main um, but yeah the black horns came in clutch I was playing against uh, <clears throat> speedroid wind witches and I go I make the emerald Dryden board and I go attack and he goes Quaking Mirror Force. I set both my monsters. He does his thing, makes a clear wing. I go Black Horn, draw for turn, set the Black Horn, make like a Tiger Mordor, try to attack with 28. He plays Quaking, makes a second clear wing on his turn. I Black Horn it. And then I did that game too as well, and I ended up 2 0 him. So Black Horn definitely came in clutch. It's definitely a poor man's, uh, what do you call it? Poor man's uh, D Bear. 
And for the extra deck, one board both. Some people play two. I think the whole extra deck uh, and the main is kind of just player preference of what you prefer. I like one board bow because you're sending it back anyway by doing the combo. If you don't, if you're playing a second board bow, then all you get to do is send back a second Tiger Mordor, which you're playing two of anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we're playing two Tiger Mordor. Tiger Mordor is Tiger Mordor. I mean, it's it's busted. It's good. And then we're playing two Broad Bull, two Dryden, the one of Invoker. Uh, Totem Bird, Double M Morale, Gaga Samurai, and then I'm playing Ragna Zero. It never came up at Locals, but it is a good card. I like it. Um, in the mirror match, you can pretty much pop anything on the board because of Tenki. Um, if they have Tenki on board, and even if they don't, you can just pop something if they have like uh, Zoo Exceed because uh, it increases their attack and doesn't make it their original. So, And then we've got the Utopia package. So, side deck never really came up. I side decked rounds one and two, and I lost both those rounds, and then from that point on, I didn't side deck. So, but, well, no, I'm sorry, I did side deck because I side decked in the anti spells against a pendulum player, and I ended up winning. Um, it was a Metal Foes guy. So, we played two anti spell. Uh, the, the main deck, as you saw, was kind of ghetto because I don't have everything. The side deck's kind of the same way. One Ragaki, one Lancia. I opened this up game two against my buddy Joseph round one, and I still lost. I opened the one of it. It was pretty pretty funny. Two Ghost Ogre, uh, two Flying C. None of this ever came up. Like I said, the only thing I side decked was the Lancia um, and the two anti spells. And I side decked some other cards around one against uh, 60 card Infernoid friend, but they, I just never saw them. Uh, two Chalice, two System Down, never played ABC, Twin Twister, Torrential, and Ring of Destruction, just because I wanted more destruction, and I don't have two Lancias. But that is the deck profile, you guys. Um, I really love this deck. I like what it can do. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, Zoo is Zoo. It does what it needs to do. It gets the job done. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I really like how the deck plays. I like the combos. The only thing I don't like about my build is that... Whenever, like, I draw cards, I draw into a lot of multiples, so, like, I was playtesting before I went to Locals, and I drew for turn into a Starlight Road, used Emerald's Effect, shuffled my deck very well, and then I ended up drawing into another Starlight Road, so, it's just one of those things that happens, it's just kind of unavoidable, I guess, and maybe it's the sleeves, too, I don't know, maybe these sleeves are bad luck, um, but that's pretty much it, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, um, please leave a like for Zoo, I know a lot of people hate this deck and say it's degenerate, but yet... If you want to get better at this game and you want to learn how to beat the top decks, then you have to at least play the top decks. You can't just, you know, play Rogue all the time and expect to do well. You need to at least sit down with a build, play the deck, know its ins and outs, and then that way you know how to better beat it. Either that or just play Chamber and be that guy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you've not already.